and welcome to Blocktober day 25. Um, well, I must, it's Sunday and I must admit it's, um, what? Oh, no, it's not quarter to four. <laughs> I don't know what time it is now. Uh, oh, it must be, it must be three o'clock, something like that. Maybe a bit later. Um, I, I've put a little bit of footage in before, <laughs> for this intro. I haven't picked the camera up at all, really. I haven't done anything. Um, I sort of had a bit of a lazy morning, slow start this morning. Uh, household job, really. Put some washing out, put some more washing in the machine, got that out, everything's dry. Tidied my kitchen up at long last. Made some bread, put some white bread on. Um, I'm hoping by the well when I get back in the house, uh, I might be able to get some more on. Um, what have I done? Oh, Adele's been baking some cheese straws and some cheese bones. <laughs> so she was trying out this bone cutter because. I think she bought it for, for making some biscuits and that for the grandkids, like for Halloween, so they can decorate them up. So that'll be a job for sort of later on in the week. We're going to make them some bones and some cupcakes and get them some decorating stuff. And obviously she's making the piñata. So uh, before it all goes next weekend, well, next Saturday, we'll I'll put a bit of footage in or something of it. Well, yeah, I thought the cheese straws are really nice. This is a little bit different to what we've had before. So I'm not sure where she's got this recipe from, but it's got it's part of ordinary strong cheese. I mean, we use Cathedral City like that, extra strong. And she's put, she's got a packet of, it's not Parmesan, but it comes in a packet and it's sort of um, like Parmesan, but it's an Italian cheese. And oh, it's made such a difference. I mean, we like cheese string, cheese strings, cheese straws, and we do make them. Adele usually makes things like that, uh, but they are really tasty. So I've had a, I've had a straw and a bone <laughs> to keep me going for a little while. So I thought I'd come out here and do a little bit of um, machine embroidery. We'll see what I can get done. And I've got my Nescafe double chop mocha to keep me company for a little bit. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't think I've got any more corduroy here. Now, I, I did think about going down to the shop today, but to be honest, I, couldn't be bothered. I could not be bothered. And it, I was washing today, so all my clothes have gone in for the wash. I'm, my trousers and everything are all in the wash. So I'm basically down to my sort of draggy bottoms, which are <laughs> like pyjama bottoms. So I thought, no. Uh, which I can, I can get some fabric tomorrow, it's not a problem. So I'm going to have a look around, see what fabric I've got. I might do some machine embroidery on some of some different designs, maybe some Christmassy ones. I'll have to see what I've got because I can't remember what I've got now. So if I pick anything different, I will share with you what I'm doing. So I'll better get on. Well, I've just finished out stitching the Christmas trees. Now this is uh, a bigger one than the other one that I did. So I'll see if I can reach the other back. So you can see the difference. That they did it. It's no wonder I had trouble cutting them out. But this one is the next size. Now I like that. And this is it will be the size of bag. So what I'm going to do now, you can see how nice it is, um, I'm going to uh, get the other piece pressed up and then cut the shape of the bag out. Oh, I've got a loose thread there. Uh, I can't do anything else really because I've got no more fabric, have I? <laughs> so I'll have to um, get some from the shop. I will have to get some tomorrow. But at least I can prepare this part of the bag. Um, yeah, and then sort the other out tomorrow. I've just realised I'm running out of wadding. I can't believe I've run out of wadding. 
I've probably got enough to do the few bags I've got here now. So I think I better order some more. I have got a bit in the shop. Which is not quite as thick as this one. I do prefer this one. But I do use the other one. So yeah. So, so <laughs> I'll get ordering again. I have to try and remember to order it tonight. I just hope they're going. I'm hoping they've got it in stock to be honest. Because it's not so much... Um, having to order the thing, it's whether they've got it in stock because we're still having trouble getting hold of things. Oh, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Um, yeah, so I've cut out the cream with um, sparkly bits um, corduroy that I found. I thought I'd got a bit left over, and I I think I've got three bags out of this, which is good. So. I'm going to use them, I think, for Tomptis. So I might embroider some. I don't know why I keep looking at that clock. It's still not working properly. <laughs> I might have a go at embroidering some more Tomptis with some of the, well, the other colours of the Harris Tweed and that that I've got. So, yeah. so then it'll just be it'll just be bag making this week when I put everything together. So I need to find out what time it is before I do anything else. Because I've got to go and make tea, and I think we might be having um, oh, like a veggie. I don't, I can't remember what it's called. I made it a while ago. It was it's like vegetables and lentils, like a shepherd's pie, but without meat. And the topping, as you'll have seen, I don't know if you will have seen actually. I can't remember if I filmed it or not, <laughs> but I put. Um, two squashes and a butternut squash in the oven early on to cook to let and now let it cool down. So yes, I need to go and check on that and see if I need to put some tea on. So I'll probably catch it a little bit later. And I've just finished my little other tomtes. Now that's a different tweed, so you're more on the sort of browns. And oranges uh, and this is that um, cord with the tiny bit of sparkling again it's not thick I can I can actually just see it but it is it's very delicate but it's really nice and I wish I could get some more of this but I can't <laughs> which is a shame <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah, so that's another one to add to the pile. So all the bags now have got the wadding in. So they're ready for obviously the next stage, which will be during the week. Once I've got the other fabric sorted out. That's going to be hard. <laughs> trying, to, trying to match up with what with the colours I've used for the tomptes. Mm. Then I will... Get on with some more of the heather ones because I've because I've sorted all my um, Harris tweed out now, so they probably will be just a little bit different. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that'll be I think starting tomorrow. Um, I didn't know actually whether to put some on the tea towel. There's a bit of plastic stuck on there. Yeah, that's off my phone. There was a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of plastic, there it is. Uh, there was one piece stuck to the bottom and one piece stuck to the top of my phone. I hadn't realised it was on there. <laughs> I've probably had it a month now. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's the tea towel. So, I'm, which way around is it? That way. Yeah, so I might, I might have a go and put one on there. Maybe not just yet though, since I've got bags to do, but I need some Christmas tea towels. So that's a good job. I, actually, I probably won't use this one. I've got some Christmas colours over there, so I'll probably use that. So, yes, right. I think I'm going to pack up now. Do you know, I'm still looking like a blasted clock. <laughs> yeah, I know it's half past six. So I'm going to pack in now, and looks like my battery on my phone is dying so I need to go and get a good charge and um, so I probably won't do any more sewing out here tonight um, I've got a little bit of hand sewing to do which I need to get on with 
because I'm not doing it. <laughs> and Adele will be moaning at me. So I'm going to say thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody's had a lovely Sunday. And I know this vlog's not going to be very long today, but uh, I haven't done a great deal. <laughs> if I do um, a bit of cooking or anything tonight, I will try and put that in at the end. Uh, that'll spin it out a little bit. So yes, thank you for joining me. And I will see you all again tomorrow. So bye for now.